Having one of these might actually make mowing the lawn fun. Mule deer and other species appreciate it. The mower is helping improve habitat on over 30,000 acres in Wyoming. For close to 15 years, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department has worked to enhance sagebrush step habitats, specifically where mule deer and greater sage grouse live. It's through the department's mule deer initiative projects, currently ongoing in several areas throughout the state, including the Platte Valley, Central and South Wyoming, and Sublette regions, and here in the Bags area. In many of these locations, sagebrush cover density averages over 40% and over 60% in specific pastures. Mowing these areas reduces sagebrush density, increasing the forb, grass, and shrub growth and availability, diversifying age class structure of the brush community, while increasing the resilience to disease and fire. This in turn increases the palatability and nutritional value of the brush for wildlife and disperses livestock across pastures. Shrub consumption by mule deer can be as much as 90% of the forage they ingest. When mule deer migrate through these treatment areas, snow levels won't impede the animal's ability to forage and end up providing important shrubs and other plants to help the deer get through the winter. Pregnant does benefit here too. More options for forage support fetal development. Two 100 horsepower or larger tractors with 20-foot batwing motors are treating the areas. The deck height is adjusted depending on density, slope, and presence of hazards, but the stubble height should remain 6 inches to 8 inches so that not every shrub is killed. That leaves a fair amount of them to regrow. Since 2014, Game and Fish Department personnel have enhanced habitats for approximately 30,000 acres across the state. The mosaic pattern is used to ensure cover remains in the area for small mammals and birds, and it also recognizes the importance of greater sage-grouse species and their leks that may be in close proximity to this type of habitat improvement. This also reduces the hard edge or corridor effect that predators often exploit when hunting. Without quality habitat, Wyoming's hunting and fishing would be extremely impacted. Projects like these enable Wyoming's mule deer to remain vibrant, and provide better opportunity for hunters. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.